Hi there, this is Michael Hakarainen from Utah Education Network, the professional development team. And I'm going to use this video to explain a question I get a lot in Canvas trainings. Oftentimes, teachers will ask, how can I put a PowerPoint into Canvas? And I'd like to start by explaining there are four ways to do this. Um, each one has its pros and cons. Number one, sometimes you can just upload it as a file, and then the file sits in your Canvas course and students can access it. Uh, but they have to have PowerPoint to open it. Number two is you can drop it into a page as a link to that file, or you could put it in a module as a file. But in all three of these cases, the student would have to have PowerPoint to open it and see it. What I like to do is upload the PowerPoint to Google Drive and then embed it into a content page. And that's what I'm going to show you here in this video. We are going to take this very PowerPoint that I have made, upload it to Google Drive, and then I'll go through the steps of putting it into Canvas. Okay, so to start off with, uh, I'm going to show you my Canvas dashboard. This is where I have some of my classes. Uh, one of my classes is called Canvas for Online Learning. I'm going to click on this class, and then I'll go uh, into the pages. And just for the sake of uh, this demo, I'm going to create a brand new page. So I'm going to click Pages and then uh, View All Pages in order to see the Add Page button over here on the right. Now I'll name this page How to Embed a Google Slideshow. So my first step is I need to go into Google Drive and take a PowerPoint that I have and upload it to Google Drive. So I'll click on New and then go to File Upload. Now I saved this PowerPoint right here on my desktop. There it is, PowerPoint into Canvas. So I double click on it and it loads into Google Drive. Now once it's in Google Drive, the PowerPoint file lives here but in order to put this into a Canvas course, I have to change it to be a Google Slideshow like this one below. To do that, you can either click on it and then right click and say Open With and choose Google Slides. So here I've just opened that slideshow into Google Slides. It's been converted from a PowerPoint file into a Google Slides file. And there it is. Takes just a second to load and there are all my slides. Okay, now I've already done that once before, so kind of like a cooking show, pardon me while I get rid of this, and here's the same file but with my extra slide. So now what I'm gonna do is publish this file to the web so that it can be embedded. To do this, I'll go up and click File, and then you'll see down here, Publish to the Web, second block from the end, and it will ask you to click the Publish button. Right now, the embed link is grayed out and kind of hollow, but as soon as I click Publish and it says, are you sure? Yes. Now I'm given an embeddable code. So this is the HTML code that starts with bracket iframe and gives Canvas or wherever else I posted the directions to embed with a width of 960 and a height of 569 this slideshow. If I don't like that size, I can come up here and make it larger or smaller, or I can even make it a custom size. I typically, for Canvas, just go with medium. So now that it's published and I have the code, I can copy that. So I'm going to right-click on it, or Command-C, and copy it. If you right-click, you'll see the copy button right there. So now that this code is copied, I can close out of this window and go back to my Canvas course. A common mistake that teachers or Canvas users will use is that they think they can just post or copy and then paste the code right here into the page with the rich text editor and say save, but all that does is just show you the code. So the thing you have to remember when you're editing a page is that you switch out of the rich text editor, so let's remove this here, switch out of the rich text editor and choose the HTML editor. So when I click on that and paste it and say save, it's now going to put the slideshow embedded right onto the page. This way, after you've used it in your class, your students can then go onto Canvas, and it doesn't matter if they have PowerPoint or not, they can just scroll right through the slideshow. 
Okay, so what we're going to do now is review these steps. First, you upload the PowerPoint file to Google Drive. Then, you open the PowerPoint with Google Slides. Remember how I right-clicked and said Open With? This will convert it to a Google Slide deck. I then need to publish the slideshow by clicking File, Publish to the Web, and then copy the embeddable code. After you've copied the code and have the size that you like, you go to your Canvas course, and in this case I created a content page. Be aware that you can paste this anywhere, assignment, discussion, or you name it, even a quiz. Then go to the rich text editor and switch it to HTML, HTML editor and paste the embeddable code and save it. Now here's a bonus tip. I call this using the Z's. This is a fun trick. If uh, you're doing a paste of the embeddable code to a blank page like I did, it's very easy. But if you're embedding it into a page that already has content, then you need to be careful about where you're putting it. So let me show you what that looks like. If I go back to the home page, and let's say that I just wanted to add that Google slideshow like right in here between this paragraph and this part here, what I would have to be careful about is when I click edit and then switch to the HTML code, I have no idea where in the code I need to paste that embeddable section of text. So the Z's trick is I go and put the cursor where I want it to be, and I put a whole bunch of Z's. So I'm putting all these Z's right here in between those two tables. And then when I switch to code, it's easy to find the Z's in the code. There they are. Highlight them and replace them with the embeddable code that I copied from the Google slideshow. So now when I click Save, here you'll see the slideshow tucked in there nice and neatly in between the paragraph and then the agenda for the day. Okay, so again, upload the PowerPoint to Google Drive, convert it from PowerPoint to Google Slides, File, publish to the web, copy the code, paste it into your page using the rich text editor, or use the Z's to mark the place on the page where you're going to put the code, and then click Save. Hope you enjoyed this video.